Okay, so this is an LK1920, but this has the updated uh, control box on here. So it's got this panel here, which gives you a USB instead of the EEPROM. Taking a quick look inside the machine, inside the control box rather, it's got the smaller box on it, and there's also a spot here to use a US, uh, excuse me, to use an EEPROM for uh, if, you, if you're going to replace an older machine. So that'll take the same EEPROM that was in the 1920. So the box, the cover. So basically, you can you have a, a display here, which is a lot easier to work with. It's very similar to a 1900A. And this is the control box panel that's going to be on here. It's a smaller box. And you're going to see that this is it's the MC676 box. And this basic sewing head is exactly the same. And this has the updated motor on it which has been on the 1920s for a while now. We're just doing a quick application here, but we're sewing this patch onto a strap, so the two stage is set up. And that's how that works. Okay? So again, Juki's updated the LK1920 system. And so now you can use a USB or an EEPROM.